Welcome to another set of examples uh, from chapter 2, CSC 259, Predicate Logic. In this set of examples, let's see about parse trees and subformulas. Hopefully, you remember some of the trees that we drew in chapter 1. Uh, remembering those should make it easy. So a quick recap. The first thing that we need to know, remember is the operator precedence. Now that goes exactly same like in predicate logic, except that the binding for universal and existential quantifiers is the highest. Again, I would like to insist that using brackets for clarity is very, very important and it helps you. And drawing parse trees will help easy identification of subformulas. But there is one factor that's very, very important is the ordering. Ordering matters in case of quantifiers. So let's see a few examples about ordering. So if you have this, for all x, there exists y, p of x comma y, that's not the same as there exists y for all x, p of x comma y. So let's take a simple example to see this. So let's say uh, p of x comma y uh, is uh, defined by x plus y is equal to 0 and x comma y belong to integers. Now, if you see the formula for all x, there exists a y, p of x comma y can be written as in English for every integer x, there exists another int integer y such that x plus y is equal to 0. Okay. Now, what about there exists y for all x, p of x comma y? What does this imply? This says there exists a y. So, you are given one integer y. So, this is say something like y is equal to 5. So, that's one integer belonging to i, then for all integers x plus y is equal to 0. Now this does not hold true because say x is equal to, can be any integer, so say x is equal to 2 here, x plus y is not equal to 0. Whereas in the above case, here, if x is equal to 5, then there exists a y, so y will be minus 5. But that's not true in the other case. So we clearly see that this, for all x, there exists y, p of x comma y is not equal to, there exists a y for all x, p of x comma y, okay? Now, what about just using only the universal quantifiers and only the existential quantifiers? Uh, so, we can think of some very straightforward uh, examples. Here, uh, let me take uh, x plus y is equal to y plus x. In this case, uh, this always holds true. You take any integer, x plus y belongs to integer and y plus x also belongs to an integer. If this holds true. It's, it's straightforward. And uh, here we can take the simple example of x uh, is equal to minus y. So p of x comma y is defined as this. x is equal to minus y. Uh, so given any integer, x is equal to, x belongs to i uh, integer. So x is equal to phi. Then there exists an integer y. Uh, equal to minus phi and similarly if y is equal to minus phi x is phi. So very clearly the ordering of uh, uh, for all and there exists matter uh, unless it is uh, commutable in this manner. Now let's look at an example of drawing a parse tree. Uh, 
this seems quite big, but it is actually as easy as drawing it for in case of uh, uh, propositional logic. And uh, let's see how to draw this. So uh, very clearly, let's look at the brackets. So this is one, this is two, and the remaining are within uh, over there. Uh, similarly, over here, this is the bracket. And this is one and the remaining are smaller internal brackets. So these are the things. So given these um, formulas, we clearly see that the center part is a uh, conjunction. So keeping the conjunction in the start. Now, what do I get on either side? So, uh, so let me take the uh, left side. We have another conjunction coming here. And that leads to there exists X. And this has a P and P takes an X. Now the other side is an um, of the second uh, or uh, the right side of the second and is an implication. And uh, sorry, notice these brackets is what I've missed out over here. So I've missed out there exists. Uh, formula over here. So let me make the correction. So there exists y and then there is an implication. This is the change that you would see from predicate logic. And then this has a q x y and the other side is r and this goes to a y. So this is uh, the left side. And now let's look at the right side. The right side again is an and. And this is there exists a Z. And this has an S and this has a Z. Uh, the other side is for all Y. So now I think this part of it is quite easy uh, once you have seen how I'm doing it. And As a quick recap, you should notice that uh, uh, the uh, values that are inside is called arity and Q of X comma Y implies Q is of arity two, whereas R is of arity one. So this is the tree, subtree. Now what are bound and free variables? Bound and free variables uh, can be understood by uh, tracing back up the tree and seeing the variables that are bound by a universal or an existential quantifier. So example here, X has, there exists X on the top. So this is there over here. So this is bound. So I will use B for bound and uh, F for free. So here, if you see X, there is nothing about X on the top. So X is a free variable. Y is a bound variable. And this is also a bound variable. What about the Z? Z is bound here, uh, the Z here doesn't have there exists or for uh, all Z on the top. So this is free. Same with the Z here is free and this Y is bound. So now we know what are the bound and free variables. The next part we will look at is sub formulas. Okay. So now for drawing sub formulas, I'm going to remove uh, what are bound and free variables here just to make it simpler for us to look at it. Okay, there we go. Let's now draw the sub formulas. So first thing is to look at the leaves. So we have an X, X, Y, Y, Z and all those. So the variable, so we have X, we have a Y and we have a Z. So these are the leaf nodes. So from there, then we build one level higher. So if you see, there is a P of X over here. We have a Q of X comma Y. Uh, R of Y. S of Z. T of Z. 
and u of z comma y. So these are the next levels of formulas. We go one level higher. I would complete this tree over here. And this tree over here. So that gives rise to these two formulas. So that will be Q of X comma Y implies R of Y. And the other one is T of Z implies U of Z comma Y. Now this is done. Then we go one more level up. So there, that's the level where we have the existential and the uh, uh, existential quantifiers and the universal quantifier. So that's, we will be writing the next set of formulas that is, there exists an X, P of X is one. The second one is there exists Y bracket open Q of X comma Y implies R of Y and the other aspects of it. So there exists a Z, S of Z. And the final one is for all Y, T of Z implies U of Z comma Y. Now, the last set is when we take the ands over here with respect to the sub formulas. I'm going to write that in the next page for convenience of uh, or ease of having a look. So the formulas would be there exists x, p of x, and there exists y, bracket open, q of x, comma y implies r of y. So this is one subformula. And the second subformula is there exists z as of z and for all y, tz implies u z comma y. So these are the set of all subformulas. So you have the leaves going all the way up to one below the head of the tree, that is the topmost R. So this is how you draw your subformulas. So do, to learn further about this, uh, have a look at the videos provided and also look at the exercises that are there. Thank you.